Imagine a school where students rarely fall ill, where learning is uninterrupted, and where parents and educators work hand in hand to keep everyone healthy. Keeping students healthy and in school is a top priority for parents and educators alike. A healthy school environment is crucial for the well-being and academic success of students. Schools are often breeding grounds for various illnesses due to close contact and shared spaces. Common illnesses such as colds, flu, and stomach viruses spread rapidly, affecting not only the health of students but also their learning and attendance. Frequent sickness can lead to disruptions in the educational process, making it essential to prioritize health and hygiene in schools. Understanding the types of illnesses commonly spread in schools is the first step in prevention. Colds caused by numerous viruses are highly contagious and can easily spread through respiratory droplets. Flu, another respiratory illness, spreads similarly to colds but tends to be more severe, often leading to fever, body aches, and fatigue. Stomach viruses, also known as gastroenteritis, spread through contact with contaminated surfaces or consuming contaminated food and water. Each of these illnesses presents with distinct symptoms and spreads through various methods. Colds cause a runny or stuffy nose, sore throat, coughing, sneezing, and mild body aches. Flu symptoms are more intense and include high fever, chills, muscle aches, cough, congestion, fatigue, and headaches. Stomach viruses cause vomiting, diarrhea, stomach cramps, and sometimes fever. Preventing the spread of illnesses in schools requires a collective effort from students, parents, and school staff. Frequent hand washing with soap and water is a simple yet effective way to prevent illness. Hand sanitizers should be provided in classrooms and common areas for times when hand washing is not feasible. Proper sneezing and coughing etiquette, like covering mouths and noses with a tissue or elbow, is crucial. Discouraging the sharing of personal items like water bottles and utensils can reduce the spread of germs. Emphasize the importance of staying home when experiencing symptoms to prevent spreading the illness to others. Regularly clean and disinfect commonly touched surfaces such as doorknobs, desks, and keyboards. Frequent sickness has a profound impact on student attendance and learning. When students fall ill, they miss valuable classroom time, which disrupts their learning process. Absences can lead to gaps in knowledge, making it challenging for students to keep up with their peers. The impact of illnesses extends beyond individual students, affecting the entire school community. High absenteeism rates can lead to a sense of instability and concern within the school community. Educating students and staff about proper hygiene practices is a fundamental strategy for reducing the spread of illnesses. Regular hand washing is one of the most effective ways to prevent the spread of infectious diseases. Daily cleaning and sanitizing of high-touch areas are crucial for maintaining a healthy school environment. Parents play a crucial role in preventing the spread of illnesses in schools by keeping their sick children at home. By keeping sick children at home, boosting their immune systems, and maintaining open communication with the school, parents can contribute to reducing the spread of illnesses. Let's work together to safeguard our schools and promote the health and success of our students. Stay healthy. Stay strong.